Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Everybody in the room and online need to be on Canvas. Everybody should have their computers out and on Canvas. You can either go through the dashboard or the calendar to get to where we're going. I'm gonna go through the calendar because I do think it's easier. It also will list all of your assignments that are coming due. I'm gonna to go to today's lesson, even though that's not today's, I should probably fix that. But just click over one and it'll be on Thursday. Um, if you look here, you're gonna see that I gave you a picture of the difference between genotype and phenotype. When you look at the alleles, the letters that we write, when we write C, uh, homozygous, heterozygous, whatever, we're talking about the genes that are in your DNA, that is inside your cells, inside the billions and billions of cells in your body. They look like this. These are chromosomes. And on them are markers coding for a specific gene. So for example, um, whatever genotype we're talking about, it could be about eye color and skin color, coding from the gene to phenotype. Phenotype is what I see with my eyes. Everybody needs to pay attention. I see a lot of people not looking this way that are in here in the classroom. Their eyes should be on the screen. Here is a short little video to go through genotype phenotype with you. The last one, the other things are you're going to do a uh, practice here and vocabulary. Practice vocabulary. Um, here's practice and there's vocabulary. Very important about the vocabulary. Do not copy paste. If you copy paste your definitions and I can tell, I'm gonna give you a zero. I'm not, you cannot learn anything by looking a word up and copying pasting the definition. You've learned nothing other than how to copy paste. I need you to write the definition in your own words. Um, so you can look at that on your own, but that's an assignment. And again, if you copy paste, you'll just get a zero. And uh, I'm uh, copy pasting, you can't do that anyway. It's called plagiarism. Um, we're not writing a formal paper, but it's an assignment saying, this is my work. And when you copy paste, that is not your work. You've copy pasted somebody else's work and that's called plagiarism. That's a huge problem that can get you expelled from school. So don't do it. We're gonna go ahead and click on the assignment that I gave you to practice phenotype genotype. I wanna explain this to you. So I'll do the first four with you so you can see. When you get to the bottom, it's gonna have you reverse it. So if you look here, it's gonna say genotype you're looking for. So you'll look through this list backwards. So you'll look over here and go backwards. On the top part, it's saying phenotype. So you have to know what you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot. If you guys open up your assignment, you can get some of these answers right now, right here. If you use your resources properly, So I'm gonna use my snippet here to show you some of these. And I just closed that. Why did I do that? I don't know. Wasn't paying attention. Let's try again. Okay, now I have it. All right, so if you're looking at the first one, the first one's telling you, it says the phenotype, which means what you look like with my eyes. If I looked at you with my eyes, this is what I would see. It's telling me you're heterozygous, which means you're one of each, right? I'm not necessarily saying tongue rolling right now because that's not what it said. It said eye color. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna look for eye color and I'm gonna look at what it tells me. And it says I'm heterozygous for eye color. So these are my alleles. These are my genes, my genotype. I want to know my phenotype, what I look like with my eyes. So if I'm heterozygous, which will I be, hazel or gray? Anyone? Hazel. 
Which will it be, hazel or gray? Oop. Hazel, yes, thank you. Oop. Okay, the next one says that I have a phenotype, again, what you look like when I look at you, that's homozygous dominant for cleft chin. So I'm gonna go back up to my table at the top and I'm gonna look for cleft chin. And it says I'm homozygous dominant, which means that my letters are two capital C's. Do I have cleft chin or not? Jamil, what do you think? Do I have it or not? Yeah. I have cleft chin. Good. See if this works. Yes, you do. Thanks, Thomas. Okay. The next one it says phenotype again, what I look like with my eyes, homozygous recessive for hair color. Up here's hair color. Oops. I was trying to erase. Up here is hair color at the top. It says that I'm homozygous recessive which means my alleles are lowercase d, lowercase d. What color is my hair? Red. Good, get the idea? Now, I don't know if I, I can't show you the bottom, but what it says is like this. It'll say homozygous dominant. It'll give you the letters and you're just gonna look backwards and say what color hair do they have or whatever. Um, but finish this page up. This is great practice to practice that um the phenotype and genotype and then the last thing is your vocabulary for today are there any questions online people are super quiet well everybody in here is super quiet too but uh now's the time to ask questions again don't copy paste that vocabulary all right if you don't have questions you're free to go Perfect. Good job, Emery. See you later, alligator.